I know we're there for. <laughs> All right. We're sitting today with this cute little beauty. Um, brought him in. They brought me a fecal. Uh, the story is that whenever he's out, uh, he sits in his, his cage. He warms up. He goes in and then uh, does what I call pacing. Um, what do you guys call it? Window surfing. Window surfing. Okay, that, that's a good term for it. I like that as well. So pacing and or window surfing. They let him out. He roams the house. Pretty much rules the roost. Tastes everything out in the yard and garden or in the house from the yard and garden. And then goes back in his cage and he starts to slow down. So my theory is this guy actually goes in, um, gets really, really, really excited, you know, because he's in there and he knows there's this whole house he can play in. And, uh, and then, you know, starts going crazy. Like, I want out. I want out now. And, of course, the suckers that we humans are. We let him out. He roams the house. And uh, if you're familiar with this species, these guys are constantly licking everything. Um, as a matter of fact, if I hold this camera here long enough, he will probably reach out and, and touch the screen with his tongue. Um, so anyway. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? What, what are you doing, dude? Get that thing out of my face. So anyway, they let him out. He roams around. At some point in time, he starts to get a little tired. Or maybe the correct uh, term would be he starts losing his body temperature. <laughs> and he starts slowing down. When he slows down, they then pick him up. Put him back in his kennel or his cage, and he sits in there until he starts to warm up, and then he starts his window surfing and pacing all over again. Mm -hmm. So they brought him in today thinking that he had some weird neurologic disease going on um, or, or some weird uh, uh, psychological thing that I should know about. Um, anyway, so psychologically speaking, I think this guy is perfectly normal. If you'll notice, he has a really high stance. Um, his eyes are good and clear. I don't know if he's more interested in the red light that's happening on the camera or if he's just looking at the clear glass and is going to attack it in a second, but we'll know, we'll know real soon. But uh, anyway, so with that in mind, um, I'm going to give this guy a clean bill of health outside of the sand that I saw in his stool. Uh, somehow he tried to cut that down to an all-time minimal, but it turns out that uh, mom and lizard also live right next to a bayou and in South Mississippi, sands, beaches, bayous. Um, or beaches and bayous have tons of sand on them and around them, so they probably just bringing it in. And as our buddy here starts roaming around the ground and licking the floor, picks up some and eats it. The uh, the only parasites I'm seeing are those that are associated with the crickets. I'm seeing some horsehair worm uh, eggs and stuff and larvae inside the uh, inside the the, the feces of the, of the lizard. And that's the only abnormality I'm noting. And again, that's not a lizard pathology. That's uh, <laughs> I'm you gonna bite my finger. That would be hilarious. After I stopped screaming like a little girl. <laughs> Things I have learned today, that if you recognize these feet out in the wild, this girl eats bugs. <laughs> I'm getting a dirty look. Okay, but it's not the first time she's done that to me. So anyway, for all intents and purposes, I think we're doing good. Yeah. What's going on here? Are we It's really been a strange day. Not only am I fighting the flu in a big way, but I have five students shadowing me today. Oh, no. In 20 years, I've had like 10 days in a row students shadowing me or a student shadowing me, but five in one day on a day like today where I can barely talk is just a weird. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Roth is back there torturing them for me. Okay. <laughs> what are friends for? Been here the other day. Could she? Um, said she went to um, a vet in Ocean Springs. What's up, dude? And then, like, another time we should, like, bring Gizmo in. Oh, yeah. Giz is funny. He's a lefty, too. Perfection has been hard to deal with, but I'm trying really hard. <laughs> my husband and my other daughter are both lefties. Cool. Sounds like my friend. I always say I'm thinking our right mind. Mm -hmm. Very artistic. Draw like crazy, both of them. Huh. 
I just think like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Build fire trucks, cars, and you know, just keep me off the streets. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, for all intents and purposes, like I said, we're we're, we're good. good. Okay, I'm so happy. The poop being runny this. Well, it, it's going to be runny one day. Running where these guys has more to do with their water intake. If it's okay. runny, it just means there's water. If you're able to see a hard um, poop sample, okay, or it's form, yeah. that's that good was news. two days ago on my floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's normal. Okay. If the water outside that in the in the urates just means they've had a high water outtake. You know, anything. now if you find out that 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 hard or I mean the formed part of the poop itself starts to get rather watery that might be some diarrhea or a bad cricket or two I would usually say watch that for a day or two make sure it doesn't continue okay. if it does then obviously I'm here for you whenever yeah. the time comes yeah. um, but for the most part this guy's got a clean bill of health cool I'm glad to hear that he has gained weight cool even better mm -hmm. cause he's still skinny for you know yeah there's some but pretty rough time um he runs Dragons out there. He plays a lot. He's out a lot. He doesn't, you know. When he gets real cold, it's when we, you know, we put him back in mm -hmm. and do it for him. But he gets to come back out again. We just need to make your room very friendly and do a little ramp and let him come and go as he pleases. It's clean. I just need a vacuum. Yeah, you guys can share bugs together and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it, didn't, it like drove me crazy because a couple of days there was a cricket behind my wall. It was just like chirping. And I love that noise. <sighs> but like, it was like right by where I sleep, so. You have a whole bucket full of Those cricket. don't bug me. I mean, it's a whole container. Full and they of always make noises, yeah. yeah. I, I, Mine don't seem to because I still got you're, a little bit of you're, got, you're turning into a classic girl there, Chicky. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the ones in the bin don't bug me. <laughs> The one behind the wall is inviting you either. Mm -mm. This one had a had a cricket sitting on his head this morning when I got him up. Yeah, he was sitting right on your head. <laughs> He's a dirty male. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is a bath. He is a bath. And he doesn't like baths. Hmm. You, don't you, you take him towards the tub and he, he, mm -mm. he, he doesn't like it at all. He, he tries to run away. Yeah, he does. I normally have, like, scratches going down my arms. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the back porch when the plants are outside and it's cleaned up, he runs out there while I'm working out. So, he, he's out. He has a run of the house. Yeah, he does. So, by the time he starts to cool down, he's pretty much wore out at the same time. You put him back in the cage, he warms up, he's ready for round two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All yeah. seems perfectly normal. He also eats uh, doobie or but we don't really get those often. But um, yeah, he's, it's just he never did the window surfing until we got back from Tennessee. No, he has. I have, I've never seen him do that. Not like this. Well, I never really thought. Like well, it's that. also the uh, our daylights or daylight average time is getting longer. He's noticing that it's coming into springtime, so that's going to start changing some chemistry in him as well. Mm -hmm. All right, very cool. All right, well, that's enough video of the lizard. <laughs> he didn't lick. <laughs>